Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Today we're making a tortilla, but not this kind of tortilla, this kind of tortilla. And the Spanish eat it for breakfast, they eat it for lunch, they eat it for dinner. All three, it's mind boggling. Let's get started. So beautiful potatoes. There's a lot of controversy with this dish about putting onions in it. The Spanish specify when there's onion in it. So it's either tortilla española or tortilla de patata or tortilla de papas. The really traditional one just has egg and potato. Some people like onion, but as is tradition in any European country, that is very controversial. So when people put onion, they have to like specify that they put onion in it. Okay, so I have beautiful little fingerling potatoes here, and I'm cutting them kind of thick. They're gonna be between a french fry and a potato chip. We have oil, it is hot. It is like 360 degrees, and you wanna be uber careful because this is how you get a serious burn. Be careful. All right, so potatoes are in. Because of their thickness, I'm not worried about these overcooking so quickly. So we have plenty of time to cut the onion, the controversial onion. We'll go in half, all right. So then we can just kind of like go like this here and get some nice choo-chewed onions. <laughs> as many eggs as the size of your pan. So if you got a 12 inch pan, 12 eggs. You want one like, you know, one good whack and then it just pops open on a good day. Today's a pretty good day so far. So 12 eggs, we want it thick so it stands proud and tall on the plate. So that's why you need more eggs. So there's a lot of starch in potatoes, just like in pasta. You know, the most important thing when you dump pasta in the water is to stir it right away so the noodles don't stick together. Well, guess what? When you're frying potatoes, also mucho importante, stir. We've got our eggs, and we don't wanna use a whisk because we don't wanna whisk air into it. We're not making a souffle. So the fork works better at sort of homogenizing this. You see way less bubbles than if I were using a whisk. All right, the potatoes are looking like they're starting to get a little crispy. So now I'll throw the onions in with them. Be careful. So something I really love about this dish is it's something that my friend Carlos's mom made for me when I visited them in Spain. And it, it truly is something that the families of Spain have out at all times. Okay, so now, look, we've got color on our onions. We've got color on our potatoes. So now we go fishing, and we just wanna drain it a little bit, yeah? Be extra careful with this spider. You haven't washed it off because you're not gonna have any water on this. Because when the water hits the oil, it splatters, and you'll lose an eye, so don't do it. And so right now, while the oil's hot, you wanna hit it with salt, like a lot. A little paprika, or as the Spanish call it, pimenton. So now, this is all drained, and we will try to get these in. Homogenize a little bit. All right, guys, so, you know, we were deep frying. We're gonna pour our oil and save it for later. You can fry, like, multiple times with oil. Now, this has oil and it's hot and it's all ready for this to not stick. You, you wanna stir and shake. You have cooked bits that have started to get into the center. You know, before it really starts setting up, just try and like bring it in. And you can see that it's it's not sticking. It's a beautiful thing. So now you've got to start like forming the tortilla, right? So you start coming along the sides. You're coming along, you start to see a little bit of brown. Just make sure, you know, you got the strength, you're ready to go. Channel your inner Schwarzenegger. And you're gonna come over here like this and you're gonna... <clears throat> okay. Pan goes down, here we go. Gotta cook the other side. All right, so, very important. We want the edge to be beautiful when you look at it from the side. So, the only way to really make it round is to, you know, like plump it up, push it in, and curl it under. You know, you start feeling it. You want it to be egg and fluffy -y. And then you've got the center that will continue to cook because of all this egg mass once we remove it which I'm doing right now.
Okay, so these are scallions and they're grilled. And although you would probably never see this on a Spanish frittata, it is paying homage to the burnt grilled leeks that the Spanish eat with romesco sauce. So here's sriracha, just cause like, we like spicy. Hashtag Spanish frittata, literally. Like I said, eat it cold, eat it hot, and you can have it breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's a beautiful thing.